Have you ever wanted to stream to multiple platforms and then display all the comments and live chat messages from your viewers on your stream? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how. For this video, I'm going to be using Restream.io. Now, a lot of people use Restream as a way of sending a live stream out to multiple platforms like YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitter, Twitch, but it actually has a lot of other great functions built in, one of which is a chat tool. The chat tool allows you to collect all of the comments from all the platforms that you're streaming to and display them as an overlay on your stream. I'm going to show you how to set it up using both OBS, but also broadcasting tools like Blackmagic's A10 Mini Pro. Before we get into the how-to, if you want to find out what else Restream can do, like its ability to bring in remote guests with Restream Studio, or stream Zoom calls to multiple locations, check out the description below for those videos. I've also put in the description a link that gets you $10 discount on any Restream plan, which is 55% off their standard plan for anyone that does want to upgrade from a free account to a pro account. The first thing you're going to need to do is actually log into your Restream.io account and add some destinations, add some channels that you want to live stream to. So I initially have just put YouTube and Facebook in here. If you've never added channels before and this is your first time, let me run through how easy that is to do. Just log in, click the add channel button at the top left. And then you've got all of the destinations that you can stream to. So it can be a Facebook personal profile or Twitch, YouTube Live, Twitter, LinkedIn. And you can see the many more down here. Restream give you, I think, like 30 plus destinations that you can push to. Also, uh, if you do have a paid account, you can go to Facebook pages and groups too. So any of these integrations will uh, work for this and you'll be able to pull in the comments from those sites. Custom RTMP, that's for paid users as well. Because it's just a custom RTMP pushing a feed out, it's not actually pulling any of the comments back. So uh, the comment feed won't work for custom RTMP, but any integrations like Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, or anything like that, it will be able to pull the comments into. So just set those up depending on how many platforms you want to broadcast on. I've just chosen two here. And then the next thing we need to do is actually set up the chat app. So click on the three dots on the left-hand side here. And that will open up the menu and then go to chat app on the side. And then you can just open it up in browser. It's going to open up the chat app for now, but we actually don't need to worry about the chat app. We actually want to go down to the right hand side, the bottom right, and click on settings and then go to embed in stream. And this will take us to a page that allows us to set up our look and feel of how the chat is going to appear on screen. You can see an example of it uh, there on screen as well. So. There's a bunch of different templates and settings that you can choose. I've gone with this kind of uh, bubble, speech bubble comic effect, which is nice. But there's lots of game related ones that Restream provide as well. I'll flick through a few of them. We've got uh, one here. And if I do another boxed one here, you can see it automatically pulls in the logo that the comment is coming from. And this in this area here where it says the, uh, the platform name currently, it would actually replace that with the commenter's name and then their comment underneath. There's a couple more that we can uh, show you here. They're all nice and animated and things like that. And we can customize how they look, uh, where, how opaque the background is, their sizing, for example. You've got full customization options here. And the other one, which is a good one to note, is the message alignment. I personally like the messages coming in from the bottom and then working their way up. So the new ones always come in at the bottom, but you can change that to the top if you like, depending on what sort of style you're going for. So I'm going to flip back my... Uh, my favorite is this comic one to that. Once you've got it set up how you want and uh, are happy with the way it looks, copy your URL up here. Now this is basically going to create a transparent layer that you can add into if you're streaming using OBS, you can just add that in as a browser source and then just start streaming. It's super simple, but I'm also going to show you as well as showing you that I'm also going to show you how you can integrate this with Blackmagic's A10 mini line. So whether you've got the pro or the ISO, whatever it may be, you can actually pull in these comments into your Blackmagic A10 Mini uh, and have those displayed on your stream as well via the Blackmagic A10 Mini. So first, let me show you how to do it with OBS. So I've got OBS open here. I've gone with just a blank profile, starting afresh from new. I'm not going to go into like streaming settings with OBS or anything like that, but the main setting that we want to look at is making sure that the canvas size is set to 1080. So go over to video on the left-hand side and just make sure that it says 1920 by 1080 for both the base canvas 
and the output as well. And then you can set your same frame rate down here to whatever it is you want to stream in. So I've gone with 25 frames per second. Now, just for argument's sake here, I'm going to quickly add in my webcam. So we'll add in my A10 mini. Even though I'm going to show you how to stream using the A10 mini and bring in the comments, I'm going to just use my A10 mini as a webcam interface for this example as well. There we go. And uh, for those of you that are using OBS to stream, super simple to bring in the chat. All we do is click the plus button, go to browser source and add a browser source. Then we're just going to, I always recommend starting with the resolution being the same as your base resolution. So 1920 by 1080 here and paste in the link that we copied. I'll just go back. We copied from the restream chat page. So that's the link that you're going to paste in there. You can tweak the other settings if you want to, but I'm not going to bother. And you can see, there we go. It's brought in our chat message. Now we're obviously not live at the moment, so we won't be getting any other chat messages from like Facebook or, or uh, YouTube, but this is a nice tester that Restream gives us to see how a chat message will look on the page. Now, personally, I don't want it stretching over the full size of the, the broadcast because also as new messages come in, they'll start blocking my face. So I'm just going to tweak this. I'll go back into the browser and adjust the width to about 500. So it's just appearing on the left hand side here. You can see that's much better. One other tweak that we could do if we think maybe this is looking a bit too small, we can just go back to the restream page, maybe bump up the size a little bit, something like that. Then all we need to do to refresh that is click on the browser source and click refresh there. And we can see it makes it a bit bigger. And it's really nice. It just overlays on top of the, the webcam output. We've got the, uh, it animates in and we've got all the details we need, where the chat messages come from. This will be the username of the user who sent the message and then their message here. So I've shown you how to easily get those comments from restream.io into something like OBS and then do your broadcast through OBS. Really simple. But what happens if you want to take the comments and put them into something like an A10 Mini Pro or an ISO and do all the streaming on that device? It's actually quite simple as well. What you're going to need though is you're going to need another device like a Mac or a PC and you're going to need to connect that up via HDMI to one of the inputs on your A10 Mini Pro. So for the sake of this tutorial, I've just fired up my second Mac here, which is an input into my ATM Mini Pro ISO. I've got OBS installed on it. So let me run you through what you need to do in OBS to get this to work. So again, I've got a fresh install of OBS. I'm just going to go into the settings, go to the video tab, and again, check that my canvas is 1920 by 1080 for both of those and set my frame rate to the same as my A10 Mini Pro, which is 25 frames per second. I'm going to do exactly as we did before, but with one step in the beginning, which is adding a color source, because I basically want to create a chroma key background that I can key out. So we add a color source, select the color, and I've just gone for a generic green. You can see the hex code there, 00FF00, if you want to use the same one as me. And then that is my first background layer. I'm going to now create another layer, which is the browser source. I'm just going to rename that to overlay. And again, I'm going to start with the width at 1920 and the height at 1080. I'm going to paste the link in. Just adjust those widths and the height. I always say start with the base canvas because then you can see the full image that you're going to get and tweak it from there. Click OK and we can see our comment is pulled in against a green background and we'll use that to key it out on the A10 Mini Pro. Again, I'm going to just adjust the width here because I know I liked that sort of sidebar uh, to 500. And now we have everything that we need. We've got one more step to do though, which is we need to right click on the preview screen full projector preview and select that as the black magic device that we're plugged into that will then start sending that green screen layout that we've just created to the input that we have our mac or pc plugged into on the a10 mini pro and now let me go over how you chroma key that green out on the a10 software control now actually it's really easy to set this up in the a10 software control just open up the controller Go over to palettes on the right hand side. We're going to use the upstream key for this and you need to set it to chroma key. Now, if you have your PC or Mac that's running OBS with the graphics on going into, let's say, camera input number three, like I do on my ATEM ISO, that is where you will select as the fill source. If you've got it into one, select one, two, you know, you get the idea. Then we need to pick a chroma sample. So to do that, 
we can just select this chroma sample option here and we can drag this square to an area of the screen where it is on the green. You'll see this on your preview screen. We basically want to set this to the green that we've set as our background. So you can see there it's pulled a key. We've got the nice green color there so we can now uh, leave that. And to be honest, you don't need to touch any of the other buttons. So now all you need to do is press on air for key number one. And there we go. It's pulling in that feed that we've got running on our computer using OBS and then keying out the green. So the only thing that we have left is the comment at the bottom there. So now that the chat app's all set up, now let's go live. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the ATEM Mini Pro. The first thing you're going to need to do is go back to your Restream account and just get your RTMP settings. So this is where you're sending the stream from your ATEM Mini Pro to Restream. So click on this RTMP settings button here and you're going to copy the stream key and then you're going to go over to the ATEM software control and under output, go to live stream, select restream as the platform. You can leave the server as auto detect and then paste your stream key into this box here. Of course, I'll be changing my one before uh, I upload this video. So uh, don't go trying to stream using my stream key. And then of course, uh, select your quality. Streaming medium is perfectly fine for this sort of stuff. And we can select on air. I'm actually just going to turn on the the comments before we do that. So select on air and that will start pushing a stream to Restream. And if we go back to Restream, we can see it starting to populate there. There I am. We've got, I like to refresh as well, just to make sure that we're getting the, uh, the stream in OK. There it is. We've got our comment on screen as well, but we're not actually pushing to any platforms yet because these toggles on the side here are off. We can start that and you'll see it say sending data here. And once it does that, it will start, it will say excellent, and then it will probably throw an issue and we just have to refresh the page. There we go. So refresh the page in the uh, YouTube controller. Now the stream has started. We can see it says end stream. We'll get a preview of our stream in a second. And I'm actually going to go over and get the link and we'll view it on the YouTube watch page. It's going out as an unlisted video right now. Um, so hopefully no one finds it. But um, let's go to there. I'll mute it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type a comment in from, from YouTube. It's going to be from me. Um, so hello, YouTube. And we'll post that in and see how long it takes for it to populate on screen. I can see on my monitor it's already populated there. So if I actually go over to the Restream da dashboard, you'll see it pop up there first. There it is. And then it takes a few seconds. I'm in low latency mode on YouTube for it to carry through on YouTube. So there's about a 10, 15 second delay or so. But you can see what it's done there. It's it shows the platform, the name, and also the message as as well. Now let's fire up the the Facebook as well, and we can test commenting on Facebook too. So we'll go back to our restream dashboard, and we'll fire up the uh, Facebook stream, and we can see if we jump in here. Again, I'll just mute this one as well. We've all, we've got the YouTube comment on screen here. Let's try and see if. We, Testing from Facebook, see if that, oh, see how long that takes to come through as well. There we go, so we posted a comment there. I'm going to see, I'll let you know when it pops up on my monitor. It has just popped up on my monitor there. Uh, and let's go into the Restream dashboard. There we go, it's popped up there. So that was about maybe five or six seconds. And we can watch it, there we go, pop up on YouTube as well. So. All the streaming is being done from the A10 Mini Pro on the device itself, and I'm bringing in the graphics. So I'm just going to go on each platform and just type in a few comments. So comment two, comment three, comment four on YouTube. And then if we switch over to Facebook, do a few comments there. So this will be comment five, comment six, comment seven. And we start to see them populate there as well on the feed. That's in the Facebook. If we go over to the YouTube. So we're, we're streaming the same broadcast of both Facebook and Twitter, but it's pulling in the comments from all those platforms. And I'm just going to two platforms right now. You might want to stream to five or six platforms all at the same time. Um, and it will pull those comments 
from all of those platforms. So you can see it's a really easy way of getting in those live comments from multiple platforms into your broadcast and having them displayed on the stream no matter what platform you are actually streaming to. So there you have it, an easy way to add live chat from multiple streaming platforms into your live stream, even if you're using something like an A10 Mini Pro. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up because that really helps. And also if you want more videos like this, make sure you've hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell because as I said in my last video, 50% of you still haven't done that and that's how you're here when I drop new videos. And also if you've got any questions about what I've said in this video or my previous videos, pop them in the chat. I do try to reply to as many of those as possible. And if you've got specific questions about your setup, my email address is on screen now. I do do one-to-one -one consulting sessions for stuff like that. So pop me an email and we can get that organized. Once you've done all that, I'll see you on the next one.